many contestants in last year's Strictly were aged 60 plus? The answer is only one. Uh, in the last bit of this morning's show, we're trying to find out what you think of this year's Strictly lineup, as announced today. Uh, Gail Reese and Julia's thoughts in a sec. Yours most welcome to the usual number. Now, just before we get on to that, a big shout out to all the fashionable types watching this morning. A French Connection have been in touch. Read your dress, Kirsty. We've had a couple of other <laughs> offers as well, well from Harrods maybe. Wow. Uh, and I'd just like to say hello to Martin. Uh, Aston Martin and it'd be <laughs> any private manufacturer of helicopters. Paul. Uh, Hi. to George Asda. Jo <laughs> <laughs> hello, George Asda. I, I thought you already and, had. And I'm going to say hello, Mum. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> now, enough of the plug in, but you will go to the ball, Cinderella. You will look Thank magnificent you. tomorrow. That, Thank I am you. sure. Hello. <laughs> I've got nothing to wear. Uh, okay. Enough plugs. <laughs> enough plugs. <laughs> So, according to the Daily Express, five of the 14 celebs uh, are over 60 in this year's uh, competition, compared to the solitary OAP we had last year in the form of the lovely Linda Bellingham. Paul Daniels will be the oldest competitor. He is 95 in the day. <laughs> <laughs> he will be tangoing alongside 62-year-old Hottie Anne Widdicombe, 63-year-old Felicity Kendall, 60-year-old comic Whoa. turned sex therapist Pamela Stevenson, and former England goalie Peter Shilton, also 60. Uh, Gavin Henson, the fabulous Jimmy Mystery, who's a regular here, Destiny's child singer Michelle Williams, Tina O'Brien, Matt. Matt Baker, Matt. Scott Maslin, Cara Toynton, Patsy Kenzie, and Goldie make up the rest of the line. Up. Gordy. Hang on a minute, wasn't I supposed to be one of them? Oh, I'm I sure was... the Daily Mirror said that. I'm it sure did. they did. I was yeah. devastated yeah. when you were in the lineup Matthews today. Not true, not true. You have to be working for the BBC. So, what do we think? <laughs> Has the BBC swung the pendulum too far in favour of OAP coffin dodging wrinklies? You can't blame them after all the flat they got for dumping 66 year old Arlene Phillips last year, replacing her with a 30 year old singer in the form of Alicia Dixon. Uh, this year's lineup is highly representative of the general population, though, which mm. I was surprised by. Only 21% of the population is over 60. 36% of this year's Strictly stars are 60 plus, Reese. I think it's a good thing. I mean, the thing about Arlene Phillips, the, the, it wasn't necessarily about her age that annoyed me. It was the fact that she knew she was an expert, and Alicia Dixon isn't. That was a problem there. But I think that I think it's good to have. I mean, I think that programme is basically watched by a lot of old people, so. It is. Well, it's it is. Older, but older people. Family it is. Audience. It is. It's a family no, it's, I mean, it, I mean, it is rubbish. It's a rubbish program. <laughs> Let's face it. It's terrible, and it goes it's on for weeks. It's hugely popular, Reese. Hugely. Oh, popular. I know, but who amongst idiots? It's, can't they watch that BBC <laughs> Four? Or, I don't know. Something good. Do you think but, they've over? I mean, bear in mind that we've gone from one OAP the previous year to five this year, out of kilter with the general population, and they've gone too far. Okay. I'm with you, Reese. I hate the programme. Yes. But um, it's. I... You said you wanted me in it. No, I wanted you to be in it, and then yeah, I'd watch it. Oh. But it'd be fun to watch you. I'd love to just see you do that dancing stuff and take trousers. Mm. That was just, that was just a personal. That was a personal thing. But no, I think it's absolutely atrocious programme. Um, but it's not that bad. It's why would you want to watch that? Because it's dancing it's so and sequins. I don't. Bruce, it's Bruce. It's Bruce. Entertainment, and I'll be watching because my not. lovely Matt's yeah, in it. Yeah. Do you know what? So. I'd rather make. Bread, but it's like, <laughs> and I don't even cook. But um, no, do you know what? It's nice. I think I don't. I don't care about ages, no. I don't, but I think it's nicer but people, to you see. Should, but you should care because there was this cult of youth, yeah. and and I think. You know, it was interesting. You're quite right about Arlene being an expert, Reese. But you know, there were also older male experts on the on the judging panel, and oh, they yeah. kept their jobs. They picked on the woman, uh, the older woman. Do you think they've got the balance right this year? I think they have got the balance right. Mm. I think we are ageist as, as a country. I think it's an entertainment show. It's meant to um, demonstrate a cross-section yep. of our well-known faces on, on television. And there aren't enough older faces on television. It's funny, in America, there are some real stalwarts. You know, there are the, the, the big news anchors, male okay. and female, mm. um, are, are, you know, 60, 70 even. We, we just haven't followed that, that, that trend in this country because <laughs> essentially we like looking at young, good-looking people but, on the television. And I think that's wrong and I hope that's going to change. And I think this is... It's a, what you look at here is a really good cocktail of people. You know, Paul Daniels is going to be entertaining, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You know, is he going to be a well, great dancer? He's a great magician. So. Why can't he ever make himself disappear? That's exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It was nice, actually. Even though I don't watch the programme, it was nice to actually watch a line of people, and I thought, I know who that is. Yeah, I know yeah, who that yeah, is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and then not one of the reasons new, for that, one of the reasons for that young is, is half the cast are professional reality TV people, yeah. aren't they? Why are we? No. Like, yeah. Who are Goldie, you? Goldie. Okay, uh, Goldie. Gavin. Goldie's a musician. Well, yeah, Goldie, Gavin. That's two. Gavin. That's one well, Gavin's a rugby player. Yeah, but, but he's also foremost. just done the 72 degrees minus north twaddle, mm. whatever. Which he did get fit. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's still reality. It's just unfortunately not... there's so much rubbish on TV that people have to do reality TV because there's nothing also, else to do. Also, it's more fun to watch uh, older people dancing. Uh, as, you know, the whole John over. Sargent thing, they fall over a bit and you go, I'll oh, give it there, yeah, that's good. It's like when, you, when blind people are on quizzes, you always want them to win. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it, you always if there's a sympathy vote. What I'm saying is, if I, I used to watch Strike It Lucky with uh, you know, Barrymore, and you'd always feel sorry for, you know, the, if the blind one was on or someone with a bad leg, you'd always so, want them to win. I'm not, this is a nice thing, I not a bad thing. I can see the telephone. So you want someone, you always want those kind of people to win. <laughs> um, so, if I, so when I was bald, if you want me on a hairdressing show, I'd probably win. Definitely. Is that what you said? Right, I'm, I'm getting what you're saying, but you just did it really badly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm saying you always you feel I, I think six being mean. Right. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's a anyway, good thing. We're ages. All people it's a good are good. Thing. We'll have a quick word with you guys on the phone, and then we'll talk to our audience. Kirsty, what do people say? Okay, we have Tina on line one. Tina, good morning. Hi, good morning. What do you think of the lineup, Tina? Hi. Hi. What do you think of the lineup this year? Sorry. Strictly. The strictly. I, I think it's a fantastic idea because I just think that the older people, the older generation, will, might actually encourage them to do a bit more and maybe start dancing, because it's a preconceived idea that they've got to be like a size six and all look glamorous and beautiful and Absolutely. doing all the dancing. And I, I just think it's the old AOPs, the old AOPs that would just encourage them to do more if they see it and say, well, no, hang on, I'll give it a go. Why Absolutely. Don't I we Absolutely. start dancing again and doing some more for ourselves. It's inspired my mum to have a go, and she's, you know, well... Ancient? No, she's not, actually. She's very sprightly, a very sprightly 70. Um, no time for the audience. Sorry, Eric. Aww. No time for anything. That's we all we got for you this morning. Uh, I have to say, great to have you with us this morning. Lovely to see you. Fantastic debate, Julia. Uh, you too. Well, <laughs> Reese. hopefully you won't be murdered on your way home today. <laughs> well, I'll be dodging those blind people, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Give it up for the panel, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen.